So I'll add an Android application. Dev day. I don't have a marketplace URL because this isn't a real application, right? But we'll just fill in anything for now. There's a lot of optional settings that you can choose. Background color, text color, the same general things that are on AdMob's website. The refresh time is how often new ads will be fetched and location access. If uh, the ad networks do location-based targeting, this will you know, actually let them do it. Otherwise, it won't. The only downside to this is that it requires some um, extra inter user interaction. So it'll pop up a little dialog box on iPhone or on uh, Android, you'll have to actually acknowledge that you're using location. We don't really need that right now. So uh, come to a brand new screen. We don't have any publisher IDs yet, but fortunately I signed up on AdMob's website. You can just copy and paste my IDs in there. The same with Quattro. Right now, uh, since this is an Android application, only Quattro and AdMob are supported, so you only get those two options. Explicitly supported, sorry. You can use other uh, ad networks through generic notifications. We'll go into that later. So now that we actually have keys, we can allocate percents. This means that the first ad request, sorry, that's not the really way to say it. Every time an ad request is made, it'll um, randomly go to one of these two ad networks based on these allocations. So 50-50 split right now. If one of them fails, it'll go to the rollover priorities, meaning that now it'll go to, uh, oops, it'll go to AdMob first. If AdMob fails, it'll try Quattro, and then finally it'll go to generic notifications, which are always served because that's handled uh, on our servers in particular. Uh, yeah, so if we want to add a custom ad, there's all different types of goals you can use. App Store, website. App Store is uh, used for the marketplace as well. You can choose icon, that's the image and text or banner ads, just like on AdMob as well. I have a sample banner on my desktop that we can use for Twitter. And then we have our goal URL. And it's as simple as that. You get a quick demo to make sure it works. If the image isn't the right size, it'll be resized for you. But this is pretty much exactly how it'll show up on the phone. Now you can see that it's been added to our uh, allocation inventory here. So maybe we'll actually want to set them all individually, equally. So now all three have uh, the same chance of being shown on that initial add request every time. And then generally, you know, Custom ads are a good thing to always show, so we'll put that up above like the kind of filler option. All right, so if everything goes right, we'll see AdMob 1, Quattro 2, custom ads, and then generics. Now, I don't have any reporting for this particular app because we just created it, but I'll go to one of my test apps that I've been using over the past couple of days. And you can just see, it gives you a breakdown by the networks you've been using. If you hover over the data points, you can see kind of exactly where your uh, requests are going. And then the same thing works for house ads. You can get a click-through rate with your banners. You know, I mean, it's only a test banner that I clicked on once, but you get the idea. <laughs> yeah. So any questions on the website before I move on? Yeah. You manage in your own application which one you're going to get? Or? Um, yeah, so for managing which ad networks are called, is that your question? Yeah. That's where the allocations comes into play. It's randomly decided based on these percents. So as far as the application is concerned, how do you implement it? Oh, um, well, we'll go into uh, in, inside with the actual SDK. Uh, I'm sorry, so I don't... inside the application, yeah. Yeah, we'll be going into... both SDKs and call them and you have to manage them, right? Yeah, we'll go into how to integrate the AdWare SDK in a second. But yeah, this is all you need to do on the server side. The SDK takes care of the logic for you. Yes? OK, so let's say I have three ad networks. Let's say I'm using AdMob, Quattro, and Millennial. OK. And so let's say in the allocations I've just done, basically a third for each. Mm -hmm. And on the rollover, I have AdMob first, then Quattro, then Millennial. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So, so then it'll go in terms of rollover. The first one obviously is ad mock. So what happens if ad mock doesn't fill that request? Is Quattro called again or will it go straight to the line? It'll get dizzy chain down the line until it hits something that can fill it. It gets called, I, that, believe, that varies depending on uh, whether it's Android or iPhone. Okay. Right now it'll get called again in Android, but not in iPhone. Okay, cool. Yeah. Thanks. Any more website questions? All right, then we'll move on to the Android SDK. So really quick, what we're gonna be doing for this one, we already have a basic Hello World app with nothing else. I've signed up with the ad networks as we did before and I put in my uh, allocations and keys and everything. And I also went to the ad networks and I downloaded their SDKs and then I downloaded the ad world SDK from the Google Code project. We'll show you where to get that exactly in a second. So Android is pretty easy. Just add the SDKs, add permissions, and then actually uh, we'll instantiate like the ad request object. So. This is our blank Hello World app. Not too fancy yet. <laughs> and a brand new Eclipse project, which is uh, probably the primary Android app uh, development. So I have a bunch of code samples in the sample code on the Google Code website, code.google.com. If we look in the source, we can uh, get some of that pretty easily. Of course, you can do this however you want, but it's a show. So first off, we need to give the application internet permission. Otherwise, we won't be able to reach our servers. So in your manifest, you'll just want to copy that line and add it. <laughs> the next thing you need to do is uh, give your layout an explicit value. That way, we know how to reference it, and your layout being the thing that's actually going to contain the ad. And finally, we need to uh, instantiate the AdWare objects. So, um, yeah. Just dragging all this code in here. Okay, so we have build errors because we didn't actually have the libraries. I have the libraries on my desktop ahead of time. We can just drag them into our project. The actual source code is available on Google Code if you want as well, but it's a lot easier to just use the kind of bundled version. We add them to the project. We can uh, right click on them to add them to the build path. So Eclipse actually knows where it is. Oops. All right, now back to the code, sorry. So first off, we find the layout we want to add it to. Again, in our case, is layout main. We don't really need any uh, troubleshooting. We can create an AdWorld layout object with our SDK key. You can find your SDK key on the AdWorld website, right at the top there. Um, if you want to implement generic notifications, generic notifications are that way you can set any ad work that we don't explicitly support. It'll just call this function. And then you, know, you can put whatever you want in here. But uh, we're not gonna do that for now. Then next you need to actually set the size of it. We're gonna do 320 by 52. Uh, if you remember from earlier, most ad formats are um, only 50 pixels high, but Quattro puts a uh, little bit more, so. That'll accommodate all ad sizes. The other ones will be stretched slightly, but you can't really tell. And uh, that's it. So we're gonna try to build it and hopefully everything will go great. I have a sample Nexus One emulated. <laughs> 